100 years of Test cricket, and many of the game's greatest players are here in Melbourne to celebrate the centenary of the first Test match which started at the Melbourne Cricket Ground on the 15th of March, 1877. Qantas announces the arrival of QF2 from London via Singapore. This is your flight service director. Qantas hopes that the former England cricketers here for the centenary test enjoy their stay in Melbourne. And coming off Qantas flight two, the first arrival and welcome to Melbourne, sir, to Mr. Percy Fender. Nice to see you here in Melbourne. It's wonderful to have you, you here for the much. centenary test. Thank you. Percy Fender, who played in 1920-21, the oldest member of the English party, and gentleman coming on behind him, Les Ames, who was the wicketkeeper and, and the only wicketkeeper, I believe, in first-class cricket to score a hundred hundreds. And I think you were out here last year, sir. I was, and the year before too. Yes. Yes. Uh, a man who's been to Australia more often than anybody else, I think, is uh, Colin Cowdery. Colin, nice. I think this is your trip number, what, seven or eight? Is seven, it? that's right, thank you. Not, not this time as a player. That's right, no, uh, no, uh, very pleased to be here, thank well, you. What of the news that uh, Tom has broken down, I suppose, that the, when you saw you... <laughs> 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 and coming up now is a, a former captain of England, and uh, I think sometimes, Ted Dexter, uh, you often fly light, light aircraft rather than travel on Qantas. Well, I used to, I used to, but it's got rather expensive these days. <laughs> Uh, Mike Deness, who captain England in the last tour of Australia, and Mike, we've made the mention here that you actually captain England to its last win over Australia in Melbourne. This was in uh, 1975. Seven, that's right, in 75. It's a long time ago now, really. But, uh, that's uh, two years back. Yes, it is. I yeah. think. But I think probably we'll look, what we'll be looking for this time is uh, Tony Gregg's side trying to do. a a similar reaction as we did in that sixth test match. And here, here's a great personality, uh, Godfrey Evans, can't and uh, shake can't shake hands. Now, Godfrey, um, you've acquired a bit of a beard since you were last in Australia. Oh, is this a beard? <laughs> <laughs> or sideburns? <laughs> yes. Well, you've got to do that, you know, because otherwise they would think I was as young as I used to be. And so the players are all off the flight now, and it's uh, again, it's a wonderful occasion to see these great cricketers, uh, all of them who are available to come, uh, a, a maximum number, and they're here in Melbourne for the centenary test. On arrival at Melbourne Airport, a special TAA coach will be available to take the former test cricketers and umpires to your official hotel. TAA offers best wishes for a memorable visit during the centenary test. And here's the group coming from the flight from Adelaide and some great personalities in the game here. We see Clary Grimmett. Welcome to Melbourne, Clary. Nice to see you here. <laughs> Sir Donald and Lady Bradman here too. Nice to see you. Yes, Phil Ridings, uh, Australian uh, selector. Mel McGuinness. In, in the flight we have, in fact, uh, five Australian umpires, I believe. This is the total here. One of the great personalities to come across with the South Australian team is C.E. Nip Kalu, who played uh, in the 100th test from my memory in 1921. That's right. Uh, in those days, just after the war, it was only three-day matches. Yes. So you couldn't muck about. You had to get runs, yes. but you didn't want to lose at the same time. So it became very interesting, but uh, we had such a good side that I think in the end, of course, uh, we uh, didn't have any trouble in winning the Ashes. Uh, of all the personalities to arrive from Adelaide, I think the most popular is Clary Grimmett. Well, we can make a comment about your first test, Clary. Can you go yes. back to it? Yes, England? I think I can. Uh, I've got a picture at home of Frank Woolley, the first victim. Yeah. yeah. I, I think in the match from my memory, you took about 11 wickets. I got 11 for 82, I think, altogether yeah. in the match. Well, you'd never forget that. <laughs> and this is the biggest flight from New South Wales. And gentlemen, welcome to Melbourne on behalf of TAA. Well and in the front seat, we've got two of the greatest personalities of the game, Hunter Stork Henry from New South Wales and Harold Lowett from England. Welcome to both of you. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it very much indeed. I'm well, well, an old acquaintance and meeting new ones. Wh what about your travelling companion over oh, there? Oh, well, he's of no problem. I'm very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to it very much. Yeah. Played this fellow 51 years ago, Harold. Yes? Yes. And uh, who got who out? Oh, well, we won't say. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, down the plane, Graham Thomas, Ted Wikes, Frank Misson, the Archer Brothers, and Neil Harvey, the Australian selector. Hey, How's it going, Neil? Colin McCool. It's a great experience for you to come down here to see these old mates. Oh, it is indeed. It's a long time they see. Now, the last contingent to arrive here in Melbourne are uh, from Queensland. And uh, first of all, we see just climbing up the plane is, is Ray Linville. Ray, nice to see you and welcome to, to Melbourne. It's going to be a great occasion. Thank you very much, Tom. Ken Slash and Mackay, nice to see you in Melbourne, Ken. Good. Uh, that, uh, Great to be here. Uh, I suppose Melbourne brings back some memories for you. Yes, uh, certainly. 
especially uh, 58 59 series against England when we won that test match here was the way back for Australia. And here's a man who qualifies for this match on two counts as Greg Chappell, the Australian Nugget. captain. You could hear as a former player and as a modern player, Greg. That's right. Nugget, yeah. which, which ticket are you going to use to get into the ground? I think as a former player, the way I feel at the moment. <laughs> a man who played cricket before and after the war was Bill Brown. It's nice to see you here, Bill. It's, thank uh, you. Thank you, Norman. It's uh, lovely to be down here. Yeah. It's going to be a tremendous week, I'm sure of that. The management and staff of the Melbourne Hilton extend a special welcome to all the former players and umpires who are here in Melbourne for the centenary test. We look forward to making your stay enjoyable for the next 10 days. In all, there are 218 visitors, and of the former players, 79 have represented England. The official sponsor for the centenary test is the Benson and Hedges Company, and the total prize money, $15,000, is the highest for a test match in Australia.